Hey gang, Scott here. I've been having a little bit of fun, you know, end of 2025. I'll go back into my library and look at photos from like 10 years ago. I'm looking at one from 2015 and playing around reprocessing it because you know your, your tastes and your skills change over time. And it was doing something with this architecture photo using a glow kind of effect, you know, doing something where you're softening things and trying to, uh, in my case, I was trying to create some directional light and realized, you know, glow, uh, sometimes we shy away from that when we have something like architecture or very detailed objects because glows tend to reduce detail. And with a couple of uh, adjustments, you know, a couple of uh, you know, masks applied, we can you know, maintain the detail we need yet still get the enhancements of the glow. I wanted to just walk through a couple of the masks that I've added to this photo so uh, you can see how it really does help shape and dramatically change the story of the image. I have a healthy number of masks applied to this image uh, when I finalized it all, but I, I want to focus and I turn them all off. So this is my, my basic processing here. So just, uh, you know, basic stuff in Lightroom and, uh, you know, tone, curve, a little bit of color work, lens corrections, the normal things. It's these bottom three uh, masks that I want to focus on. Let's first take a look at this glow. So what I'm after with these three things is I want to accentuate this very bright sunlight that is, you know, bleeding into the corridor here and, and, and kind of make that, um, accentuate that directional light, you know, dark in other areas so I can push the viewer's eye down the corridor. So first is the glow. And so we see everything just, you know, blows out over on the left hand side. I don't care about that. I'm uh, you know, if I go to print this, then I'll I'll worry about reining in that to be uh, almost pure white. But what happened here? First is the luminance range. Let's take a look at that. It's nearly everything up at the top and then very gently faded off. Matter of fact, I could even taper that back in a little bit so that I, I'm not affecting the pure shadows. So something like that. So now that doorway and the deep part of the corridor is not affected intersecting that with a radial or not. Yeah, yeah, intersecting. Yeah, I'm intersecting it with a radial. So I get this kind of mask and what changed a bit of curve, a little contrast action, but primarily effects reducing texture and uh, actually adding a little haze to add that blowout kind of feel. But it's this texture that as we look at the architecture, like in this like column here with all that intricate work before and after it gets softer. That's what's happening when we're doing glows. We're reducing that local contrast, which usually translates to the clarity or the texture sliders. All right, well, um, mental note, I need to go and recover that, that uh, level of detail, but let's finish off with the lighting work, and then we'll get into the detail part of it. Okay, next is we have this glow inverted. And I'll flip this over, and you can see what this did. It just darkened everything. I took this mask, did a duplicate and invert, and then just dropped the luminance range. So this is just a straight up radial gradient. And what are we doing? We're darkening things and a, quite an amount, right? I'm, just, I'm, I'm really pushing the slider there. I am g definitely going for a, a stylized look on this, but already I've accentuated the directional light brighter on the left hand side, bleeding into the corridor, but keeping like this whole right hand side, like the right third of the photo is really just getting darkened, pushing the eye down that corridor. Third thing and final thing for what we'll cover in this video is the detail on the corridor. Let's turn that back on. And now we see the detail pop back up. What did we do? There's that luminance range again. So in this case, I'm focusing on everything in the shadows, tapering off to the upper highlights. I want more detail in the deep shadows up through roughly the midpoint, midtones, and then taper it off. Radial gradient, not doing anything there. Notice that mask is just saying, forget about the left-hand side of the photo. I don't care about the detail there. That is going to be blown out. That is going to have that softer, diffused look. We end up with this combination and then what are the effects? Tiny reduction on exposure, but counteracting and adding texture and clarity back in. So we get the pop back into the architecture. So those three things is what I really wanted to cover in this photo. You know, don't shy away from a glow look or a diffused light, anything that softens any uh, detailed subject like architecture, because you can counteract that later and end up with a pretty nice, you know, stylized look, right? You have just those three changes before 
and then after. Just those three things. That's already so much more of a dramatic change to the photo. And uh, if you're very curious and you're hanging around, you know, add a little accent for the person down there, did some work down at the base of the, the corridor, shined up the floor a little bit, darkened the squares on the floor, and then I had some purple fringing I needed to go and dress on that far left side. So it adds up to from here to here, but it's those first three adjustments that make the most difference. So I uh, hope you find the video useful. If you got questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.